Wow, just another school shooting, and, well, I'm kind of late on it since my son was in uh, the works of getting his jaw fixed. So anyway, another shooter, but this one was different. This one was a student in a class who had brought weapons to school, kept them in his locker, and asked to go to the bathroom and came back with firearms. You know, there's a lot of controversy over school shooting and what can be done. And, well, I think one of the things that needs to be done now is that since a student has brought these weapons on the school grounds and didn't openly start shooting, there needs to be metal, metal, metal detectors. Um, you know, times have changed. And here in Louisville, we have them down at the downtown schools. Chicago has them. I mean, big cities have these. It's not uncommon. And while the students may not want them, well, it may not be their choice. You know, we still have gun-free zone schools, and that needs to be eliminated. You know, I I'm getting really, really tired of hearing about shootings in schools when all of this can be stopped. There are ways to stop them, but people refuse to take those measures. And, you know, it's, it's not the students' fault, but it is the school district's fault. They are not taking measures to help with the safety of their children that are students in their schools. Yeah, you have resource officers, that's what you want to call them. You need guards, you need armed guards, you need them for every 500 students, you need one. You know, um, schools aren't what they were when I was growing up. We didn't have to have guards, we didn't have to have any of these. These things didn't happen. You know, it is sad, but the one teacher was a linebacker in college saved his students and got injured himself and that's bravery how many other teachers are willing to do that because after the Parkland shooting you know President Trump even said let's train our teachers let's arm our teachers and guess what people said teacher said I don't think that'd be a good idea I think that'd be too much of a distraction and I don't feel comfortable with one the students I don't want a gun in school the parents no I don't think that's a good idea so please tell me what at this point do you think is going to work because everything that's been given out there to you you don't want so, what you really want is gun control with, in the back, saying, let's take guns away. But, guess what? You are not going to get that. So, get that out of your mind. So, let's think about the things that we can do. Let's make these gun-free zones non-existent anymore. Let's make it to where people question let's make it to where people question who has a gun if I come in this door and then I go into this classroom is there going to be somebody on the other side of the door that's going to meet me with a gun you know um, metal detectors they will sound off a gun <laughs> do it just like a do it just like you go into court have that x-ray machine have the metal detectors if it's going if it's going to save your kid's life is it worth it well you know 
Both of my kids are out of school, but my little granddaughter, yes, I think it would be worth it. I am a strong Second Amendment advocate, and you can find that on any of my YouTube videos. You're not going to strip me of my Second Amendment right because you don't want to arm the teachers, and the teachers are scared of it. The students don't want guns in schools, and as a parent, you don't want them either. So, the, see, there's the problem. The parents, the schools, and the teachers. Don't go marching on Washington, screaming for student rights, unless you're willing to come to a agreement on something that is going to work. Because, quite frankly, that is going to work. You know, why do you think there hasn't really been any gun confiscations? Because nobody's going to go to somebody's house that they know that owns at least one gun and say, give me your guns, because they signed their own death certificate. Because they know on the other side of that door, there's going to be a gun. So, you have one brave teacher. How many more brave teachers are out there? Not too many. Not too many. And so, I am going to end this video right here. Because I am sick of hearing shootings in schools. And this one is a whole different breed of a shooting. We're learning much more tonight about the hero science teacher who took a bullet for his students. Just out of the hospital tonight after tackling a middle school gunman, taking aim at fellow classmates. That teacher's message to his students tonight as investigators are piecing together exactly what happened at that Indiana school. ABC's Alex Perez with the latest. Tonight, that quick-thinking science teacher credited with thwarting another school massacre out of the hospital as questions a swirl about what led his student to come into class during a science test with two handguns. Students running to safety as the nightmare unfolded inside a middle school classroom near Indianapolis. One student, Ella Whistler, hospitalized after being critically wounded during the shooting. It was like halfway through class. But some of Ella's classmates say their teacher, Jason Seaman, stopped the gunman from doing even more damage. He pulled the gun out of his pocket and everyone just started screaming and trying to like, get behind stuff like the desks and tables. That's when, according to 13-year-old Ethan Stonebreaker, his teacher threw a basketball at the gunman to distract him, then running towards the bullets. Mr. Seaman immediately was like yelling and running like right at him and tackled him straight to the ground. Seaman, who was shot three times, releasing a statement to his students saying, you are all wonderful and I thank you for your support. You are the reason I teach. Tom, the teenage suspect is in custody. Investigators have searched his home looking for any clues that might help explain what motivated the attack. Tom? Alex Perez for us. Alex, thank you. And yet we are still not teaching gun safety. We are not teaching teachers how to shoot a gun, how to handle a gun, how to react in instances just like this one. We're not arming school staff. You know, you if you want change, you have to make change. If you're not willing to make that change, then you're making yourself a target. And I'm sorry, that's my opinion. You know I'm very opinionated, and that's where I'm staying. This is another one that could have been, very much could have been, stopped. And again, it wasn't. And this is something that now can give other school shootings an idea of an easier way to come in. 
You have to stop it here. You have to stop it now. Teachers, school staff have to be armed. No, there can no longer be gun-free zones. You need to arm the staff that is very comfortable with holding a gun. And for all you know, how many people are concealed carry? Let them carry. And, you know, the students get mad, let them get mad. They're the ones that are wanting to march and make us have more background checks. And I don't know what the hell more a background check is going to make. Because in Kentucky, for our final background check, they do a federal. So how much more? You cannot get anybody's mental health record without a judge's warrant. So that leaves you with something to think about. And for all you students watching this video, you need to think. And you need to think of as an adult, not a teenager with emotions. So with this, I'm going to leave you. Things need to change. And if they do not, it will continue. This could have been prevented, just like Parkland.